Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live base build video. And uh, it's a little bit late, but I wanted to get this one out there and uh, let you guys have a Town Hall 10 version of this series because I've done Town Hall 9, Town Hall 9.5, uh, but this is the first Town Hall 10 one, and it's going to be fun. I want to get right to it uh, just because, like I said, it's late. I don't want this to be another uh, video that takes too long. So, anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, throw my queen and my clan castle in the middle. I like putting my queen in the middle of these bases. I think it uh, it really sets up the base well, and she can draw in Valks sometimes well, instead of them taking out an Inferno Tower, so that might make a little more sense in a moment. Uh, but I'm not putting anything of really any value for a ground attack inside the core, Uh Mainly because I want to separate my Inferno Towers by this compartment that can't be Earthquake to cross. So I'm going to probably slide this. Actually, I can't do that. Um, I guess I'll just slide this over one and then just make this one wall shorter. So anyway, uh, this can't be Earthquake to cross or Jump to cross. It's a little too big for that. It's just big enough to separate the Inferno Towers. Um, so that's how the core is going to look. And then I'll just go Inferno here and Inferno here, keep them pretty much at opposites. And I want to have some kind of big roomy compartments around them, uh, make them hard for Valks. This is basically an anti-Valk base because two of my air defenses are upgraded. I'm confident that it's going to be tricky to hit me with uh, an air attack. So, and I mean, this is proven stuff. I defended uh, five times last war without being three-starred, so... My type of bases actually are working, which is something that uh, wasn't always true for my Town Hall 9 bases. I wish I could show more replays of them, and uh, or I had showed more replays of them. Can't really do that now. Actually, uh, what I want to do is put the Expos in here on ground. Uh, really open up that range for them. Let's get rid of that. Put in one ground Expo there, and throw in one uh, right there like that. Okay, that's good. Let's make this a compartment right here. Uh, that's fine. We don't need that much room around it. Uh, okay, perfect. And then we'll make this one a little bit thicker, I guess. We can put, um, a storage right here. And then, like, one more defense. Uh, like that. And, uh, a cannon right over here. And call that good. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. So just uh, put this wall up here, finish off this compartment. Big compartments, uh, the Inferno Tower not touching anything. That's a big thing. Make sure your buildings aren't touching anything for the most part. There can be a few exceptions as you see here, but especially the important stuff, the Infernos, the Expos, you don't want that touching anything. It's just going to give them extra value. I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger in case I want to put a giant bomb next to the Inferno Tower. Uh, so that's good there. And from here... Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's put just a few buildings right in here. Let's do a wizard tower and a archer tower, just like that. I like having my core, um, this is might be kind of weird, I guess, but I like having my core kind of cut off like this. So what I've been doing that's actually worked pretty nicely is just using these low-level walls that I typically don't even need and just putting them like that. Just separating off the core, uh, separating these defenses out. I'll put one like that, and then move this over one right here, and then like that. Because I haven't been using all my walls, so I figured might as well break up this core a little more, make it a little more weird for people to attack. So that's what I've been doing. And let's go ahead and put one more small compartment uh, over on the other side. We can put... I'm actually probably going to end up moving the expo over here. I want my two high-level expos on different corners. Because I do have a level 1 expo that's not going to do much for me. Uh, which I'll just kind of put in some random spot. But uh, let's put a can Well, actually, I already did a cannon. I will do another wizard tower because those guys can do some damage against a group of Valks. Uh, so we'll go like that. So you can see kind of in the middle we're pretty compartmentalized. But as we go to the outside it gets much more um, big roomy compartments. And uh, from here what we can do is... Uh, just start to fill some stuff in. So I think I'm probably going to have a compartment that goes uh, like this. 
and that Inferno can reach, which is great. It's all anti-queen walk on the outside. That's mainly what I'm gunning for on this base, is doing anti-queen walk, and uh, also being cognizant that I have to get my air defenses down at some point, which I you know can't forget on. That's an important thing to throw down at some point. So I might actually put an air defense here. Uh, put one... Uh, where would I put the next one? I guess I could put one there. Uh, it's a little awkward, and then one there. I kind of, yeah, I kind of forgot about this a little bit, and now I'm paying the price. Um, and then like one there. So the air defenses are kind of in weird spots, and uh, yeah, I guess what I can even do here is I want to move this one over to this spot, put the expo here, and then keep my expos on opposite sides. So throw this expo here and put this archer tower just right in here. Okay, that actually looks good. The air defenses are pretty spread out. I'll make sure they can't really be queen walked or anything like that. Okay, so that's good. We have this long skinny compartment like that. Um, let's start another skinny compartment up here. And uh, I guess I could do one or two. I'll just make it one big thicker one, uh, making sure the CC isn't able to be lured easily. Just don't want to give them that freebie. No point giving them a freebie when you uh, don't have to, so I'll make sure the CC can't be lured. Uh, you have to take out at least one defense to get it. Okay, from there, we're going to uh, have a compartment that goes something like this. Uh, and just kind of keep filling it in around the base. Uh, we'll have one like here, up one. Actually, what we could do here is have another bigger one because we have to defend that air defense anyway. Uh, we'll go like that. We'll probably end up having a compartment right here just to protect this air defense uh, that goes like that. And uh, we'll fill in these walls right here. Okay, that's fine. And uh, just down like that. I have a little bit of extra walls, but this is basically what I'm feeling here. You can see how spread out uh, these or how big the outer compartments are compared to some of the inner ones. Uh, that's kind of what I've been, that's, been, that's what's been working for me at least. And uh, now we're looking at anti-queen walk. These two expos are great, um, but also an archer tower here is really gonna screw up a queen walk because it can't be sniped. An archer tower here, it can be sniped unless I just go like that. I don't see why not. I think it's worth it. <clears throat> now they have to actually enter the base if they want to take that out. Uh, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll have that back there. Um, and we can throw like, uh, and right here, let me just point this out, on here the Inferno Tower guards pretty well against the Queen Walk, so we can put, you know, a cannon here and, or a cannon there, and an Archer Tower there with some good confidence knowing that they, uh, won't be queen walked or anything like that because of that uh, inferno tower that's in the area and like a mortar here or something. Okay, uh, that's good. We'll just probably have, have a cannon right here eventually, but uh, we'll also throw a cannon here, uh, more anti-queen walk stuff. And I wanna have, I, I always kinda wanna have at Town Hall 10, I'm shifting towards having more of my Archer Towers on the outside to try to defend against those minions They can get some free funnels. I think it's never get good to give them some uh, free trash buildings, whether it's for a funnel or percentage or whatever. So I'm trying to get these Archer Towers to the outside a little bit more than I did at Town Hall 9 for sure, because it's a little more important. But at the same time, want to stay uh, relatively anti-Queen Walk. And I forgot, this expo is actually level 2, which is solid. I'm going to put it... Uh, where this, what can I do here? Uh, I have a few different options. I can, uh, what should I do? Let's do this, let's get rid of that. Let's put the expo here and let's put my third one right like that. All right, these are covering some serious ground on this base. Scoot this over one tile. Actually, that can't be sniped, I don't think. So I think we're good there. Uh, yeah, looks good. 
we can put the king down somewhere, but pretty much something that I've learned is that if you can really make a queen walk hard, uh, you've you've that's a victory for the defender. So I'm doing my best to do that, and at the same time, I'm trying to you know maintain just by design having these compartments makes it hard to use Valks, and without a queen walk, you also have trouble directing your Valks into the base. So just that combination of all those factors. Um, is going to help def this base defend against ground attacks. So, uh, what should I do with these last few defenses? I can uh, throw one of my archer towers up in this area and put the other one. Where's my my under leveled one? My low level archer tower. There it is. Uh, I can put it. Uh, what should I do? I'll put my underleveled archer tower just down at the bottom here. Like that. Okay. That's good. Still that DE storage, by the way. Just put that out there. Um, let's start filling in the rest of these defenses. And the king, as far as what I see, I'm just going to wait and see where it's weakest, where it could need that little king buff with him being there. Uh, we'll put this cannon right like here. Um, that's good. Start filling in these mortars just around the base. Uh, we can put the mortar there. Let's actually put it there just to make it a little harder to get to that air defense if they're doing an air attack. And uh, we'll put a wizard tower out here. A wizard tower here. And wizard tower here. Like that. All right, all good there. Just the last few mortars, and I think all that's left would be Teslas after that. And I'll show you guys what I do with my Teslas in just a moment, because I have a pretty good use for them, at least what I think is a good use for them. Uh, let me just think where I'm going to get my king down, make sure all the other defenses are down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so the king, I'm just going to evaluate where it's weakest. The Inferno Tower makes it a pretty good defense here because that Inferno is going to be on them pretty quickly, even if they're outside the base with the Queen. Uh, this spot, we have the Expo, these two point defense. Uh, not very friendly to Queen Walks either, even that is in the area. Um, the Inferno Tower actually can't reach, which is the only downside, but I think we're good. We can actually push the Air Sweeper like that, and uh, just to make it a little trickier. Um, or just, yeah, I think that's a good angle for the Air Sweeper. Maybe even like that would be good. Yeah, that looks good in the air sweeper. And then, so that side's okay. This side is kind of big and roomy. Uh, we have the expo, expo. That's going to make it tough already. Just the double expo, which you actually have double expo in a lot of places on the base, just by how they, they're kind of triangulated like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the king just uh, right over here. Uh, and let him just kind of guard that area, which I guess might be a little weak. I'm not. I'm not sure. I think the base is pretty strong though. Uh, we will throw some of these storages down at this point, uh, just to fill in some space. Storage there, storage there, there, and we'll put one up here. Throw in a few mines. Uh, a little more dead space than on some of my last bases, but that is all good. Um, so what I do for the Teslas here is I kind of just sprinkle them around on the outside. This has worked well for me. Just one here, uh, Tesla here. We can actually put it back a little bit if that helps. Yeah, for spring traps or whatever we want to put in the area. Uh, just kind of one on each of these sides. Uh, one here, and then we'll put the last one like right, uh, right there. So what I've learned is when people use Valks, they try to get into the core of the base. And uh, when doing that, you really want to keep your Tesla spread out, uh, dissipate all your damage, I guess you could say. And that way, when uh, the attack dies off, you still have these, uh, you still have a, one or two Teslas that are hidden behind walls on the opposite side of where they came from, which is really one of your highest DPS, especially when you're an early Town Hall 10 like me. That's a big DPS uh, thing for you. So if they come at it straight ahead, you know, that's fine. It'll do some damage. It'll go down pretty quickly. But when they uh, come out the opposite side, it can really do some damage late in the game. So uh, that's that. I like putting one giant bomb by each Inferno just to 
uh, because they can't really heal next to the Inferno unless they're freezing it or something. So that uh, allows the possibility to kill some Valks off there. I'll just put one in this area. Uh, by the Wizard Towers, same thing over here. And uh, for the fifth one, kind of a freebie. I will just go ahead and throw it up here uh, in case the Town Hall is important to them at all or something. Because uh, for whatever reason, people tend to attack towards the Town Hall, even if they're going for a three-star. I don't know why, just something I've noticed. Um, I'm not going to put the trash down, obviously, but let's look at the traps, and we have some extra walls if we want to use them. Uh, we can just put down some spring traps, like right in here. Uh, just some congested areas like that, uh, like that. A little bit different than at Town Hall 9 in that it's not necessarily perfect hog pathing, but it's kind of clusters of buildings where Valks are going to run to. Uh, some on the outside, some not. Kind of just your choice as far as how you do that. But um, th the goal, especially with these level 3, three uh, spring traps now, is to get possibly multiple Valks on them. So just kind of putting them in these clusters of defenses, keeping them spread out. I haven't paid too much attention to them because I don't quite know how to use them exactly. Still experimenting, but uh, we'll keep them there for now. I just like putting one of these on each and then uh, the lucky air defense of the day, which I guess is just going to be probably one of my underleveled ones I have to protect a little better. We'll do this one. Uh, make sure it's a little extra protected. Uh, the skeletons, I kind of use them by the infernos to draw stuff away. So I'll put one skeleton there, one here, and uh, on the other side I only have one trap, but I'll just put it like over here to try to draw away any troops going for my inferno tower. And then these I just spread out along the outside of the base, away from the air defenses. Uh, not, I mean, not everything has to be too, you know, hardcore planned. A lot of this is luck, to be honest, but if you have the right layout, you're setting yourself up for good things to happen because uh, they definitely will if you have a good layout. So anyway, let's put that there. And these little bombs, I just put them by my infernos usually. Just add to that massive amount of damage, you know, the splash damage there with all these bombs and stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and put most of them here because the other one has the double jump bomb area. Uh, so that's good. We'll put this one over here too. Um, add into that damage. Okay, great. Um, that was actually pretty quick. I think we've got pretty much everything covered. Uh, the trash buildings I'm not even going to put down. That's for you guys to do. And uh, I've talked about this before. And I've done it before in previous videos. But I'm not going to on this one. Because I think it's just kind of a waste of time to be honest. Just like I said, put down the army camps on the sides. that Because they're the easiest building to funnel off of. So people like funneling on the corners. Put them on the sides. And uh, just kind of spread them out around your base. You can throw a builder's hut in the corner to try to waste time at the end. That will screw up some people. Uh, but as far as these last four walls go, not a whole lot of options. I guess I'll just, um, I don't even know. I guess we'll just box off this mortar. Why not? And then our last one will just be a little swag wall right in the middle of the base. So anyway, uh, make it look a, little, look a little thicker in there. But anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, hopefully I know what I'm doing at Town Hall 10 here, and this is a good base. Uh, it's worked well for me, that's all I can say. Bases like this, um, this is kind of my signature design type base I'm making right now. It's worked awesome for me, so hopefully it works for you guys if you can use this type of base in your own wars. And uh, yeah, fun uh, series to do as always. So thanks for watching this live base build. Let me know what you think about this base in the comments, whether it sucks, whether it's good. And uh as always, you can always copy the space, I suppose, but really, uh, I think we're better off making your own base because that way the skills will kind of, uh, you the skills will kind of develop, and you'll be able to make your own bases in the future when you don't have the option of copying a base off YouTube or something. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.